September 25th, 2023. Senator Bob Menendez, facing corruption charges, rebuffs calls for his resignation. Hungary's Orban threatens to pull support for Ukraine, reigniting old row. Using duct tape and bombs, Ukraine's drone pilots wage war with low-cost, improvised weapons. Private equity's slow carnage unleashes a wave of zombies. Canada Calamity Speaker pleads ignorance after leading Zelensky and Trudeau in tribute to Nazi SS soldier. Of that bilk. Democrat senator indicted for bribery hires Hunter Biden's lawyer. Intel source raises alarm. The war is over. Russia has won. NYPD transparency site leaves out misconduct lawsuits settled for millions. We're living in a Kevin McCarthy doom loop. Hutchinson sheds new light on Meadows burning White House docks. Russian Black Sea Fleet commander was killed in strike on Navy headquarters, Ukraine says. Blood at the border. Pick shows brutalized border patrol agent after alleged attack by migrant with rat scrawled on his forehead. Monster fracks are getting far bigger and far thirstier. 60 Minutes reveals how U.S. tax dollars are supporting Ukrainian small businesses, farmers, and the salaries of 57,000 first responders. Why Iran won't budge on mandatory hijab laws, according to the president's wife. How Ron DeSantis' early missteps hampered his 2024 presidential campaign. EU states using totalitarian methods to spy on journalists. We only have the faintest idea of the catastrophic effects of climate change. Trump floats the idea of executing Joint Chiefs Chairman Milley. Science Supercontinent could make Earth uninhabitable in 250 million years, study predicts. Russian Admiral killed in Crimea. Ukraine must surrender or cease to exist. Taxpayers stuck paying the bills for oligarchs seized yachts and mansions. Hollywood studios and writers reached tentative deal to end nearly five-month strike. 